Thank you, Mike. Well, State Superintendent Ryan Walters opened this afternoon's Oklahoma State Board of Education meeting with a few major announcements, fresh off being handed a State House subpoena and a lawsuit. Two News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani has a recap from the State Capitol. State Superintendent Ryan Walters opened the final State Board meeting of the semester with three conservative leaning rules he plans to propose. The first would ban diversity, equity, and inclusion programs in all public schools. The second would protect prayer and Bible use in class. And third, Walters proposed the prevention of what he calls lewd sexual ideology in teachers' code of conduct. Walters says he's not worried about these policies jeopardizing federal funding. We're talking about federal dollars. We've been very clear with the feds. We want to help get more resources for math, reading, science, but we're not going to do that. So we, we've always sent that message loud and clear to the feds. We're not, we're not going to allow you to come in and manipulate what's going on in the classroom. So we can absolutely do that and push back on the federal government's overreach. Retired Tulsa Public Schools teacher and principal Mike Howe tells us he takes issue with Walter's ideas and calls them a distraction. The foundation of any effective classroom is a teacher who understands the diversity of his children, who understands that they have to be equitable and provide equity for every child, and most importantly, that every child knows that they're loved and cared for. Walters is also on the defense this week after being issued a subpoena by the state speaker of the House and House Education Committee to provide various data requested by lawmakers. Walters says he's not too concerned by it. Speaker and I have a great relationship. We're going to deal with the issues that have been created there, but that's going to be between the speaker and myself. Again, I have a great working relationship with him. We also asked the state superintendent about a new lawsuit against him and the state board filed in Cleveland County by Tulsa-based Oklahoma Equality Law Center, alleging gender discrimination. I'm not surprised that these radical left-wing groups continue to attack us, but I'll never back down to a bunch of woke liberals trying to sue me over trying to protect our kids and protect our parents, so I'm going to continue to stand firm uh, no matter kind of what, what lawsuit or what they throw at me there. In Oklahoma City, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma. Going more in depth now on the lawsuit filed against Ryan Walters and the State Department of Education today, the Oklahoma Equality Law Center and Oklahoma Appleseed for Law and Justice filed the lawsuit. The groups claim the vote not only violates the Equal Protection Clause of the federal and state constitutions, but also violates the Oklahoma Parents' Bill of Rights and Title IX, which protects discrimination on the basis of sex. Now you can read more about this case and other legal troubles the OSDE is facing at KJRH.com.